Hey everybody, how you doing? It's Bruce here, Stock Markets with Bruce. Uh, today's date is uh, Thursday, day, November the 11th and uh, 2021. And we're going to talk today about uh, SoFi shares. Um, all week, there has been speculation going on. What were the SoFi shares going to do this week when the earnings came out? Uh, a lot of people were, were certain that, the, oh, like everybody else, as soon as companies release earnings, the share prices just go way down. And a lot of people thought, oh, that's it for SoFi. They're going to drop. They were around $22 odd a share, and that they're just going to come back to 15 bucks. <clears throat> and then we heard from Oppenheimer a couple of days ago saying, uh, the analysts are saying, hey, not so fast, people. Um, his intelligence and his uh, contacts were saying, uh-uh, uh, this, these numbers are going to be blowout numbers. This, uh, this company is doing way better than people are thinking they're doing. You don't be surprised if the shares have a, a real nice run. Well, in the last 48 hours prior to today, the shares did back off a little bit in anticipation of this, uh, of this week's earnings. Uh, they kind of went from the, uh, about the 22 level, uh, 2260 level, 23 level, and they got as low actually yesterday as about, uh, down to about uh, $20. I think they even touched 1988 for like a moment. 1985 a share. Check them out now. Uh, what a day we're having here. We're up 347, 348 a share to three, uh, 2390. We've already touched 2465 today, and I think we're going to hit that and beyond go beyond it again. Shares look like they want to get into this 24 to 25 neighborhood. Uh, and why? And how can you not blame investors to be excited? We have traded over 57 and a half million shares today. That's probably an all-time record or certainly one of the best uh, trading volumes of all time. Um, buying coming from all kinds of institutional investors, uh, hedge fund, mutual funds, and you name it. Uh, the company was supposed to lose 14 cents a share in this current quarter. They lost five cents a share. This company is quickly coming into that profit mode. Um, it, it had to <clears throat> grow its client base into the millions to have a shot at making money. And this is exactly what they're doing. They were at one and a half million uh, clients a year ago. They're now almost at three million clients, doubling by one and a half million in the last year. The uh, growth rate on a per day, per week, per month basis is now at record numbers. This company is adding new clients at, rec at a record pace. And the thinking is that they will be at six to 10 million plus clients in the next couple of years. Uh, they don't need, 10 million clients to make a profit. I think they're just about there now. I, I think that at three to three and a half million clients, they're already making money as an overall corporation. This is before SoFi even has their uh, charter, banking charter. That is still to come and that will change everything going forward because once they get their banking charter, they're allowed to accept deposits, pay interest on deposits, use that money to lend it out. They can go to the discount window at the Fed, leverage it up. They, they will really grow a dramatically uh, large blown portfolio to now three plus million people that they can shop to, uh, sell to. Un unbelievable. It's, it's phenomenal. The, the street still, I don't think the street totally gets it because the stock is still underpriced. Um, my thinking is the shares right now should be already at 30. Uh, when they get the bank charter, you can add 50% of the price of this stock, go from 24 to 36 minimum and even beyond that, um, it looks really good. Now, my viewers on this channel uh, love the fact that we love talking about these kinds of companies. Uh, we follow a bunch of these uh, former SPACs that are now really kicking butt. But what we love to talk about and what we're finding a lot of my viewers love to do is they find that once these shares reach these $20 marks and go higher, we start to write options against our shares. We're long-term holders of the stock. We're going to be holding the stock for a long, long time. What we're looking for now is income to be to hold the stock. We're looking for incentive to keep holding the stock. And the incentive we get is we can write call options against these shares, let them depreciate in their last few weeks of life, score the time depreciation, and write options again. Um, SoFi is exactly the kind of stock you want to use to write options on. Right now, um, uh, viewers are writing $24, $25 call options against the stock, daring the market to come and take it higher. Um, and even if the market did go higher, these, inve these uh, in investors of mine, these viewers of mine, they will just buy their calls back and rewrite new calls at a higher strike price for a longer time frame, and they'll bring in even more cash than the first option costs them to buy back. The rollovers work beautifully here. Um, the shares stay flat 
or if they back off a little bit, or if there's any kind of profit taking in the last week of the options life, the options go almost down to zero and the uh, the uh, writers, our, our viewers, score dramatically. We have got case after case after case where my viewers are writing options in the morning, buying them back later in the morning, writing them in the afternoon, buying them back in the afternoon, writing them in the afternoon, buying them back the next morning because these shares fluctuate so much and these options have so much premium on them that they, they get whacked. Once the stock backs off, even the dollar, dollar fifty, these options really come down in value and they buy them back for half the price they're selling them for. Got, we got viewers making thousands of dollars on these contracts all the time. If you want to learn how to do this, all you got to do is go to my website, stockmarketswithbruce.ca. Check the classes. There's a tab that says classes. There are 10 classes that I've put together with my viewers. I did them live for my viewers. Uh, they're two hours long each class. These are not like five minute, hi, how are you, little things. This is what you do. This is what you do. These are two hour in-depth classes each, 10 of them on how to write contracts properly and understand the nuances of how options work, understand how they depreciate, how time value eats them alive, how book value can take over premium uh, value, how premium can, can take over book value. You, you got to learn the ins and outs of the option market. It is its own separate animal. You've got, you've got the stock market, the option market, the currency market, the futures market. There's all kinds of bond market, you name it. The options market is its own unique place. I have 10 lessons for you on stockmarketswithbruce.ca. Check it out at your convenience and learn how you too can write options on stock you're intending to hold for quite some time. SoFi, GameStop, Matterport, and others um, are delivering revenues for my viewers like crazy. And then we have poor man covered calls. That's a whole other matter. It's lesson number eight, by the way, is poor man covered calls check it out. Thanks for joining me today. Let's keep an eye on this SoFi, see what it wants to do in the next few weeks. It looks pretty good. Uh, we'll keep you posted on all the developments. We'll talk to you later, everybody. Bye for now.